Do you know what is cucumber? Have you used it before? Okay, wait, this is not the cucumber which we used to eat. This is the automation testing framework which I am talking about. If you have not known about cucumber or if you have not used cucumber, let's see how we can use cucumber and why people use cucumber to write test cases, additional to the J units and the integration tests we already have. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primer. Cucumber is a framework for writing behavior driven development tests. Oh, wait, what is this behavior driven development, right? Behavior driven development is similar to the test driven development where we start off with test. However, in BDDs, we start off with writing behaviors. Imagine when your product owner is asking you for what was the test which you have written for a particular feature? You cannot show him the J unit or the integration test, right? What if your CEO of the company or your business analyst or your customer comes and says, show me the feature, what does the feature deliver? You cannot show your test saying, okay, this is what the test is doing, right? People might not understand because you might be writing each feature in a different language, right? Cucumber helps us in solving that problem by creating behavior around tests. So how does the behavior help them? Because the way the behaviors are written, that is what is going to help them in understanding that particular feature. Cucumber uses a language called Gherkin and the Gherkin language looks something like this. So this is an example of a feature file. The, the feature says it's a feature. So some description is present here and the scenario says some determined business situation. So for example, uh, let's consider the example of uh, a fizz bus test. So I have an example uh, which I have a class which expects you to play with a number. If you have a multiple of three, it is going to say fizz. If you, if you provide a number which is of multiple of five, it is going to say bus, All right? So that is what my class is doing. So you can write a scenario saying uh, this scenario is specific to get a number which is eligible for fizz and given. So you need to provide a precondition. So you can provide, let's say, uh, I need to have my gameplay set, right? So I need to create a fizz bus game. That is what the given is. And, and could be some additional condition to support that precondition. If you don't need it, you can ignore it. The next step is the when. So when is something like an action when you want to play the game. So the when is where you play the game with a particular number. So you just say, I want to play the game with three. So that is where the when will go. And then again, you have additional um, and ands which are supporting the actions. Then finally, then, then is where the assertions happen like a normal test. So in the then you say the game returns fizz or something like that. So we will see how to write that in the next few minutes. However, why do we have B BDDs? So BDDs are useful when you want to communicate the behavior of a feature to somebody who is not technical. So the behaviors are the selling point between a developer and a non-technical person. And that is why people start writing feature files or behavior driven files. So that it defines the complete functionality of a feature. And these are automated as a test so that your behaviors can be changed anytime without breaking your code. So Cucumber is one such framework which uses Gherkin language and which uses the BDD approach and it is completely open source. You can use it. I use Cucumber a lot. In the last uh, two to three years, I have been using Cucumber a lot for writing behavior driven development tests. Now that we know what is Cucumber, let's jump into some hands-on programming with Cucumber, right? So I have my IDE open. So this is the IntelliJ idea. I also have the uh, Cucumber for Java plugin because I'm going to write the code in Java. So I already have the Cucumber for Java plugin installed. You can also install that. This will help you in suggesting or correcting the files which you are writing, the feature files basically, which the Cucumber framework understands. So it used to help you in writing the Gherkin language. So I'll show you that in a while. So before that, uh, we need to add the 
dependencies, the Cucumber dependencies, because we need to run some Cucumber tests, right? So we need to run the feature file. So feature file is the starting point of uh, a Cucumber test. So it is something similar to your JUnit. Feature files are the starting point. However, in order to run those feature files and convert into the respective Java code, we need to use the Cucumber uh, dependencies. So I'm going to use the Cucumber dependency. I am going to use the latest version of Cucumber. So the artifact and ID is Cucumber Java and the group ID is info.cux and the version I'm going to use is 1.2.5. So this is the current latest version of Cucumber. I'm going to use the same. Also, we need to add the JUnit dependency for it, Cucumber JUnit. So that way we can run JUnits with Cucumber. So that's it. So these are the two different Java dependencies which we require for Cucumber. The starting point of Cucumber is the feature file. Let's take a look at the feature which we have written. So the feature is nothing but a game. So this is the game which is called Fizzbuzz, right? If you provide a number to this particular game, so if you, if let's say uh, three people are playing this game, the player will be given a number and based on the multiple of three or five, he has to tell a different term. So if the number is a multiple of three, he has to say Fizz. And if the number is a multiple of five, he has to say buzz, right? And also there is one more functionality which is pending, which is not written here, which is fizzbuzz. So if if the number is both the multiple of three and five, it should be fizzbuzz. So I, I have not written that here, but I'll show you how I can add it and then add a new feature, right? So this is the game. So the game is pretty simple. If you just provide a number, if it is a multiple of three, it is fizz. If it is a multiple of five, it is buzz. That's it. So we need to write a feature file for it. So I'm going to write the feature file. I'll just call it as fizzbuzz dot feature. So all Cucumber files should be renamed or should be named with an extension dot feature. And if you see here, IntelliJ automatically detects that this is a Cucumber file. Since this is a feature file, we can provide a feature. So if you see, IntelliJ is like telling me what I should write, right? And this is nothing but a feature. So I'll just say this is a uh, fizzbuzz feature play, right? Or I'll just say fizzbuzz game gameplay because we are just playing a fizzbuzz game, isn't it? So this is just the name. So this, you can write anything. If somebody uh, sees as this particular feature file, they should be able to understand. That's that's the ultimate idea. That's the ultimate idea of the behavior driven test, right? So once we have the feature ready, we need to now write scenarios. So scenario, scenarios are nothing but your description for a test. So the first scenario which I'm going to run is uh, play fizzbuzz to get fizz. Right. I want to give a number which should return fizz always. Right. That's what my scenario is. Now my scenario is set. I need to get the output as fizz. That's it. The next part is providing the inputs on creating this particular gameplay. Right. So the first one would be given. So given is when you provide some preconditions saying, okay, this is what is required before running my game. Right. So in the given part, what I will do is I will just say, uh, create a Fizzbuzz game, right? I need to create a game because I need to create a uh, game first, right? Or I'll just say create a Fizzbuzz gameplay, right? That is what my precondition is. I need to have a Fizzbuzz gameplay. Now I need to provide an action. So how will the game proceed when I provide something, right? When I say, so when is the keyword which we'll be using? So all these orange are the keywords. So these are the Gherkin keywords which is required for running the cucumber, right? So, and, and each, as I said, given is a precondition and when is where you provide an action. Now I need to provide an action. So what action do we need to provide? So we need to get fizz. In order to get fizz, we need to play the game with the number three. So I'll say when, when I play with number three, right? When I play with the number three, that is what my action is. So now the game is going to play with the number three. Will, will be played with the number three. Now the output needs to be verified, right? So what was the result of the game, right? That is when we will be using then. So given when then are the same approach which we use across all the scenarios where given is a precondition, when is an action, and then is the assertion. So 
what happened after the gameplay right the result was fizz so you can add, add something meaningful since i uh, chose the fizz buzz example i'm not getting uh, much of a meaningful sentence but uh, uh, you get the point right the then then is like an assertion so i have written the feature file so this is a single single uh, scenario so in a feature file i have one scenario so imagine this as one particular test now i need to convert this into a java code which can test the main code right so i have only the feature file now we need to create something called step definition so these are different steps if you see these are different steps whatever we have written here given when and then these are different steps and we need to define these steps right underneath these steps there should be something happening that is when the test is going to execute right so I, i'll use intellij's feature of creating a step def right directly from here so i'll just say create step def it just says uh, my file name is my step def but i am going to provide the name as fizzbus step def also the file location is something i'll just say com tech primers slash testing so this will create a step definition with a single step so see that it has created a step definition with some step right now i'll, I'll have to create all these ste steps so intellij identifies that there is no steps defined and it shows that by highlighting it right it says undefined step what i'll do is i'll just create all these uh, steps with the help of intellij automatically i'll just say create all step and i'll say create it in this particular file that's it all my steps are done and if you see here there is nothing if i run this particular test right it will throw an exception so if i run this particular scenario so in in cucumber we call it as a scenario i cannot call it as a test because each of these are, are a behavior so each of these are nothing but a scenario see that when i ran it it failed right because we did not write anything there is an exception right which saying do something so i need to do something there so let's go one by one so in my given what should i do in my given i need to say create a gameplay so i need to create a gameplay i need to create a fizzbus object right because that's what i need in order to create my gameplay i need to create a new fizzbus object so i'll just say new fizzbus i'll just create a new fizzbus class that will create a new gameplay for me right the next one is i play with the number 3 so i'm going to play the uh, game with the number 3 so we need to provide the fizzbus object we'll just say play and we just need to provide the number so the argument is going to be the number right i'll just provide the number here and this will be stored in a variable right and this variable is the result isn't it now we need to access this result in the next in the next um, step the result was fizz correct so this this result is now fizz how will i assert it's in a different function right so what i'll do is i'll just make this as a global variable and i'll just use it here now i need to assert it assertions dot assert equals i'll just say result needs to be asserted with fizz right because the function says the result was fizz the result is fizz i can name it as result is fizz i'll just name it as result the result is fizz some grammatical right that's it now i have written my scenario i have implemented my step definitions let's run this test again this should now go to success isn't it yep see that the tests are now succeeding because i provided the number 3 and my gameplay is returning fizz now the business says i need to provide another gameplay as well another scenario to get buzz i need to get buzz right now here i say that i play with the number 5 and if i see i need to change the result as well right so when i change the result this step definition is not present however if i see these can be changed any time so what i'll do is i'll just enclose these with double quotes and then make it as a string and i'll write my step definition as an argument so this is going to be the result string i'll just do the same here only thing is i'm just going to assert with whatever we are getting from the behavior driven test that's it so i don't need this particular then i don't have to have duplicate step def right so i have written a step def where it returns 
it it gets the argument and then it asserts based on that so that way both of my tests are see this right intellij is now saying that there is no issue now both of my tests will work with just a single function so this way you can write a bdd step definition in such a way that whenever you write more and more scenarios so that your test can accept new scenarios or new step definitions without even having to change the implementation or the definition so let's run this feature i'll run both the features so that way i'll know that both of them are passing right see that both of them succeeded right now the business comes and says i'll show you a typical example when the business will be able to understand this right so they know that okay this is your feature file now they come on and say i need to add a new uh, scenario saying when i return a number when i provide a number 15 which is a multiple of both 3 and 5 it should return fizz buzz so the B ba or maybe your uh, customer right they will provide you this particular example they will just say okay i want the feature or the scenario to be like this right i'll just say 15 when i do this i need to get this that's it so they will provide this as a requirement saying okay this is my scenario that's it so go and write your implementation for that now when i run this particular feature file it is obviously going to fail because there is no implementation right so there is no feature present in this so that way now i have already the scenario or the test i just need to go and change the code so you don't have to write the scenario as a developer however this will be provided by your business analyst or your uh, product owner or your uh, customer whoever it is right that's it so now i'll go to the main class and i'll just uh, do some refactoring so when i do refactoring my scenario doesn't change the user doesn't even have to know the ba doesn't even have to know what i changed right so what i'll do is i'll just do some refactoring here i'll enclose this into uh, method right is a multiple of 3 i i need to provide okay okay this is a good example i'll just say is a multiple of and then i'll use it for 5 as well right so now if i i have just refactored something now i want to make sure my tests are working right i'll just run the feature file again and then make sure the tests are not affected the other two tests are not affected yeah both got succeeded now i'll go and add my new one is a multiple of 3 and is a multiple of 5 so this is what i wanted right if i if it is a multiple of 3 and 5 both i'll just say fizz buzz so this is my feature i've added a new feature or a scenario basically for the behavior driven test i'll run the scenario again i'll run the feature file again now all the three should pass because i have added the fizz buzz as well however notice that it is not succeeding why because if you see uh, the number was a multiple of 3 already and it returned fizz before it even reached this particular line i'll just move this if loop above and see that because the first time when it came it was successful with this particular if loop and that is why it went to fizz now i am moving this operation above so that way i know that if it is a multiple of both then first return fizz bus then only come to the other checks right see that all my scenarios are successful and uh, intellij shows up in a well structured manner right so if you have a very big feature file and then you have lots of scenarios in it you can easily check that with lots of step defs right so this is how you can write a cucumber test basically a behavior driven test so i'll just summarize again so cucumber is a behavior driven development framework which is open source you can use it for writing different scenarios different features this can be shared with the business bas uh, product owners and uh, people who are non technical they will be able to easily understand this particular file and they will be able to come up with more and more scenarios so that you can add that to your product so in this particular example we saw how to uh, play the fizz buzz game so we add a fizz buzz game and we added some scenarios these scenarios will be converted into something called step definitions in the step definition you will have to write the code 
this code is something similar to your J unit code, right? So I have not written it as a J unit specifically. You will have to run it with Cucumber and all those stuff. I just used IntelliJ's runner. So that is why IntelliJ was able to run without um, any hassle. But in the next video, what I will do is I'll show you how we can run this Cucumber as a part of your build. So as a part of your Jenkins build, we'll see how we can run the Cucumber. But uh, step definition is the file, which is exactly similar to your J unit file where we write, write the definitions of the or the implementation of what should be done for this particular feature so this is how you can automate your uh, testing for your product right i hope you guys understood uh, what is cucumber if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much